everyone has their favorite recipe for puffed rice and this is mine. Thanks to my friend Bansi for sharing and showing us her famous Maharashtrian Kolapuri Bhadang. It's truly the best. Bhadang or Karapuri is spicy with lots of peanuts, garlic and oozes the flavor of curry leaves. It's a must make. Here's the recipe. For Bhadang, you want to use Kolapuri Kurmura which is a little bit thicker and smoother in texture or any thick um, murmura will do. Uh, what we do first is toast this in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Keep tossing it so it doesn't burn or you could do it on a stove top. Both work perfectly but you want to crisp this puri or murmura so it tastes good. And Kolapuri recipes need spice and this is Kashmiri red chilli powder and chilli powder both combined and here are the ingredients very few but it's just the technique you need a lot of uh, garlic for this the more the garlic more merrier it just adds so much flavor for this you don't want to skimp on the oil there's about one third cup of oil and two heaping tablespoons of ghee we're making a huge portion so remember it's a lot and as a footer around one third teaspoon there is mustard seeds over there cumin seeds go into the oil and let it splutter for a second and then add your peanuts about half a cup of peanuts at this point reduce your heat and slowly toss it you see this beautiful golden color dark golden color you want the peanuts to be crispy add the garlic and saute it for another minute or two until the garlic gets a little bit crispy but not burnt at that point add your uh, curry leaves it's gonna sputter and make a diwali sound um just keep sauteing it until the uh, curry leaves also get crispier and then make a well in the middle turn off the heat at that time add your spices turmeric powder chili powder um, dhania jeera powder salt and saute this for about two to three minutes um, the spices will cook in this residual heat you don't need to heat up the pan at that moment add the murmura the toasted murmura and mix it and toss it really well um, after this add this whole murmura into the big batch and use your hands that's the best tool to mix and uh, get all the spices in each and every puri or murmura keep tossing it really really well so every murmura looks red and uh, spicy and so good add about two three tablespoons of powdered sugar and made good made good is a spice powder of the maharashtrians you can use chutney puri also or skip it completely mix it really well let it cool down before you bottle it and if you make this traditional authentic recipe of bhadang or karapuri please tag me and happy happy diwali have a wonderful relaxed time enjoy this with a cup of tea or coffee love you guys see you later